So now we're coming back to an epithelioid malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumor with that multinodular architecture. Unlike conventional malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumors, which are often negative for S100 and SOX10, or at most show very limited staining in the focal area of the tumor, epithelioid MPNST usually shows diffuse and strong staining for both of these markers. And this can very easily lead to confusion with melanoma, although epithelioid MPNST lacks expression of the melanocytic markers HMB45 and melanA. But it's in this setting that loss of INI1 is so helpful to confirm the diagnosis of this rare tumor type. Of note, epithelioid MPNST usually pursues an indolent clinical course with a much lower rate of metastatic disease than conventional MPNST with spindle cell morphology. This is an example of poorly differentiated chordoma. It really just looks like a, a sheet-like undifferentiated epithelioid malignant neoplasm, very carcinoma-like, and it's diffusely keratin positive, which is also true of conventional chordomas, even though this tumor looks nothing like a conventional chordoma. We have brachyuri staining. Uh, some of you probably know about brachyuri. This is a notochordal transcription factor that's very specific for chordoma, including this unusual poorly differentiated variant. But again, poorly differentiated chordomas show loss of INI1, as you see on the right. 